Gentlemen, brain dead brain abusers and lady, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, welcome. Today I'm back with some neutral reveals, we're going to look at three new troops for the Mechanicum and I'd say let's jump right into it. First card on my list is called Beta Bull 27, for some reason I really love that name. It's a 3 energy vehicle with 3 attack, 3 health, and like all Castellex Automata, it attacks by itself at the start of your turn. Additionally, if you control another vehicle, it gains plus 1 plus 1 at the end of your turn. Where I see this being played is Proctor, he already plays the M3 Castellex in some lists, and this is a straight upgrade to that, because you are very likely to have another vehicle on the board as Proctor, because of his ability. Outside of that, I really don't know where this could shine, but time will tell. But for now, let's check out the next one. Next card on my list is the Senator Calyx. It's a 6 energy vehicle with 4 attack, 5 health, so slightly understated. But it comes in with a shield and a somewhat decent ability. On Relentless it deals 3 damage to a random enemy and this also has Ordnance too, so it deals 5 damage to vehicles and Titan weapons. I don't think this is necessarily bad, but the problem is that the 6th energy slot in the Mechanicum is already bloated with very good troops like the Forge Master for example, so I don't think this will see any play simply because it is overvalued by the other options. The stats are also somewhat of a problem since Ordnance goes both both ways, so when the shield is gone, this thing dies to something like a precision bombardment for example. Relentless abilities are also not that great in general, because you rely on your troop to stick for at least one turn before it gets its full value, unless you're playing Legacy Iron Hands for some reason. Cool thing about this though, it buffs Forge Worlds, so there will be another 6 drop which can spawn from it. But outside of that, I don't think we will ever see this being played, because as mentioned, there are much better options for neutral 6 drops no matter what deck you play. And the last card on my list is the Sign of Olympus. It's an 8 energy 8-7 vehicle with flank. Sounds good at first, but oh bummer, it has overload. Yeah, the tight mechanic, so it gets stunned after it acts. Looks like a decent neutral removal option at first glance, but unfortunately it's completely overshadowed by the Sex Demon, even without the overload. I don't see any reason to play Science over the Greater Demon of Slanesh in any of my decks, except if I maybe play something like the Mechanica mission, then I would play those, I guess. But even there, they seem kinda clunky. Alright guys, and that was it for my reveals. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was informative. Let me know in the comments what you think about the new cards, and don't forget to subscribe, as I will stream the release of the Dropside Massacre on this channel as usual. And I hope to see you then, and until then, peace.